in London, Sweden and Copenhagen today over the stoning case. Hundreds of people turned out at the Iranian embassy in London to make their voices heard. And our Atika Schubert is outside the Iranian embassy right now. Atika, what has been the scene there? That's right. A number of protesters out here, up to uh, almost 100. Uh, and not just here. One protester I spoke to said they also wanted to hold a mock stoning in the middle of London at Trafalgar Square. So they're really trying to generate a lot of publicity about this case, trying to get uh, the international public to put more pressure on the Iranian government. And that's the whole idea, to keep the pressure on, even though the government says it is reviewing the case. They say it's important that the international community can keep that pressure on. Here's what one protester told CNN. We have heard uh, from uh, her uh, lawyer that uh, he hasn't received any confirmation that the regime has suspended the stoning of her. The regime has just given a very vague uh, statement uh, but uh, her lawyer has said that uh, her execution and her stoning uh, most probably is imminent any moment it could happen. So there's a lot of concern that the review might be going, but that really just may be uh, stalling, essentially, uh, for her execution. So these activists really want to keep that pressure on. It's also important to note this wasn't just about the stoning. A lot of the protesters here were also uh, here to show solidarity with the student uprisings that happened last year and in 1999. You saw a lot of purple umbrellas. That's a sign of solidarity for that. Uh, and so really, again, the point is to just keep that pressure on the Iranian government, and we'll have to see whether or not they respond. Indeed. Uh, we're watching that. Atika Schubert there in London. Thanks so much.